Hello, I'm Stephanie. And I'm Kira. And we're a mother-daughter duo from My Porch Prints. We create junk journal and crafting tutorials on YouTube. Today, we're going to answer your junk journal questions. Let's jump right in. What is a junk journal? A junk journal is a handmade or altered book with pages created from recycled or printed materials. How do you use a junk journal? Junk journals can be used as diaries, photo albums, scrapbooks, art books, creative idea journals, baby books, planners, botanical or nature field guides, recipe books, ephemera or memory keepers, prayer journals, and more. What makes up a junk journal? Junk journals can be made in lots of ways. They can be tall, short, thin, thick, large, or small. You can use all kinds of materials to create them. Paper, fabric, cardstock, etc. They usually consist of a cover, spine, and pages, which are decorated with things like tags, pockets, and decorative embellishments. What do you need to make a junk journal? To make a junk journal, you need a cover, pages, and items to fill and decorate those pages. If you want an easy way to get started, check out our Etsy shop. We have beginner junk journal kits that you can print and cut, along with step-by-step -step tutorials to help you make your first journal. We usually provide links to our supplies in the video description, which you can find down below. Here are a few common supplies that can help you get started. Of course, you will be needing paper. Any paper will do. You can use recycled paper, printer paper, paper that is dyed with tea, coffee, etc. Cardstock. We use 110 pound pen and gear brand cardstock, but you can use whatever works for you. Basic craft supplies, such as glue, scissors, tape, paint brushes, etc. A binding kit. This is a handy kit with waxed thread and large needles that you can use to bind your pages into your journal. Don't be scared to give sew-in pages a try. Our hidden spine template makes it super simple even for beginners. We will link that item down in the description box below. Here are some more supplies that you don't necessarily need, but that come in handy. Scrapbook trimmer, printer, we use an Epson EcoTank 2720, sewing machine, distress ink, bone folder, paper distressor, hole punches or circle punches, decorative punches, corner rounding punch, crocodile, tape runner, scoreboard, chipboard, cheesecloth, ribbon, lace, or other fabric, doilies, mounting tape, and washi tape. Some hardware you might need includes bulb pins, brad fasteners, corners, charms, locks, bulldog or hinge clips, label holders, and binder rings to bind your journal without sewing it. What terms do you need to know? Junk journaling has a lot of terminology that may seem confusing. You might have heard words like signature, ephemera, masterboard, etc. Don't worry, we've put together an A to Z glossary of junk journal terms and definitions to help you out. You can find this guide in our blog at www.myporchprints.com. So how do you get started today? My Porch Prints makes it easy to begin. You'll find lots of printables in our Etsy shop, as well as tutorials on our YouTube channel, and inspiration on our Instagram and Pinterest pages. You can also join the My Porch Prints Facebook group to share ideas and be part of our crafting community, where you'll find freebies, coupons, and more. Ready to make your first journal? We've put together a playlist of beginner junk journal tutorials just for you, and you'll find the link to this video series in the description box below. All right, you have everything you need to get started. So thanks so much for watching and good luck on your junk journaling journey. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.